it's, uh, it feels incredible to um, to dream of this since I'm a little kid, but now for it to, to actually happen. And um, I guess there's been a few times this season where I've been close and I've kind of had the opportunity to do it, but I've missed out for various reasons. Sometimes my own mistakes or sometimes ours as a team. And, uh, and today I managed to put it together and, and, and do it again. It was very good fun, to be honest, uh, especially on the slick. On the Inter, I wasn't enjoying myself a lot. Still the feeling with the Inter, we need to to see what's going on with that tire because it's been now two quali sessions where we were not uh, very competitive. And um, and once there was any chance of putting a slick, I was going to go for it because it was my only kind of opportunity, you know, to go, go for something bigger than P8. Incredible result. Um, you know, the team did an excellent job again in this session. I knew it was going to be slicks for the last laps. Um, so I came on the radio saying, I think, you know, let's get the slicks ready. And they came back and said, let's box this lap. And I don't know if they maybe slightly misunderstood my message. I thought, crikey, that's, that's brave. But at the end of the day, it was, it was the right thing. It's difficult to say. I mean, one lap was not enough. You needed to be able to do more. It was right on the cusp of timing of coming in. So I was really trying to rush to get in, this, in and out as quick as possible. And 100% my fault. Um, I'm really sorry to the team. Uh, ultimately, incredibly, really disappointed in myself. I mean, obviously, I knew yesterday was yesterday, and today, I mean, obviously, I, I was prepared for today to to go to to run. Obviously, a lot of us talked about not running with the with the weather, but obviously, mentally, I was prepared to make it happen, and obviously, we did. So, I think we did all right. Obviously, not not as good as Orlando. So, congrats, congrats to him on the pole. You go into Q1, and it's is the first time lap of the of the Q1. So. You know, there is no time to experiment or to, to test different lines or different things. You, you are flat out, trusting that the grip will be okay. And uh, the walls are very close here in Sochi as well. So everything went fine and uh, we felt competitive in wet. And now we felt competitive also in damp. It was going quite well, Q1, Q2. We, we seem to be strong in the, in the, in the in two conditions. But in the end, when it started to dry, um, you know, we came in. Obviously, we were hopeful to get two laps, but we only got one. It was a good effort up until uh, Q3. Um, you know, we were pretty competitive all session. Uh, it's a shame in Q3 we were the first car to start the last lap um, in these conditions, which isn't great. Track's just getting better and better. Yeah, it was all about getting that timing, that hit it to the tires. And uh, something we didn't do, we just lacked probably a lap, a lap too late. I'm frustrated for sure, but uh... You know, just taking the positive out of it, we have both cars in the top 10, so we're already in the points, which is, um, you know, not a, a bad starting position. Traffic didn't help, but I don't like to blame it on that for sure. In that lap, I lost half a second and uh, that didn't help, but um, yeah, it's a pain that um, I, I felt the car was very good today and I could have been, you know, much higher. I, I asked to, to box a couple of times and uh, in the end we stayed out. Uh, on new tires and yeah, we, we had clearly had the pace to be right there in Q3 until the end and uh, today we, we did a bad job and I don't really understand why we didn't box. My expect expectation to this to this uh, qualifying was really low, even I was like expecting um, if I go through Q1 that will be good. Uh, if I see yesterday's performance especially. I think more laps we do, we seem to get better but uh, it's the same for everybody and I think you know, it didn't feel like bad as a balance, but just the grip-wise, we are too much on the edge all the time. Obviously, with the position, not, I, I was hoping for maybe a uh, little secret uh, Q2 appearance. Uh, obviously, that would have been great. The lap felt okay. I think there was a few few mistakes, maybe two, three tenths in it. For us, uh, the main issue was the uh, brakes. I had no brakes in the whole session, so we knew, I hope we can find the, the issue. I was just really struggling out there. Uh, Massive entry over steer and then mid corner on this steer. When it rains, you're never quite sure what to expect with the grip levels and whether you can switch the tires on or not. And kind of just out of the pits from the first hit on the brakes, said, "Oh, this is this is actually much better than I expected." It's conditions where we've been struggling in the past. So uh, even though it seems like it's only five laps to for fun, it's uh, five laps where we can learn a lot. And uh, I think we did today. We were not on the inters. The grip was good. So um, yeah, we decided, of course, not to do. <laughs> too many laps because I would start last anyway so it's just a bit of waste of uh, of laps you know on on, on the material